Okay, you asked and I listened. So here you have a full row install from start to finish from your anchor stitch all the way to your ending anchor stitch. So to start off with, I'm just going to do three whip stitches and they are just stitches through the weft itself. We're not going through any pockets of hair and I'm starting that about an inch in. So three of these and then I'm working my way towards the end or beginning of that weft. And then that's when I'm going to start in that first pocket. So I'm going to drop my needle down through that pocket of hair, pierce the back of the weft and then pull that through. That creates a stitch that sits on top of the weft. And then I'm going to do the opposite, go up through the first pocket, piercing the back of the weft and then pulling that through. And then that creates a stitch that sits on the outside corner. So it's really, really nice and secure. Then what I can do is I can go in that second pocket of hair and begin my blanket stitches. I'm gonna do my blanket stitches all the way around now until I come to the last pocket. When you're doing your blanket stitches, you're dropping your needle down through the pocket of hair. You're not dropping it down through the bead, under the bead, you're only dropping it next to the bead. The reason that we're doing that is, and you can see here I'm showing you, the reason that we do that is we wanna be able to do those really nice easy move ups. And the only way that we're able to do that is by going next to the bead. If you are going under the bead or through the bead, it's gonna be really difficult to do those move up appointments. So I'm doing my blanket stitches. You are not piercing the weft at this point, it's almost acting like a bungee to hold the weft underneath. So you're going down through the pocket of hair and then just up through and under the weft, but we're not piercing the spine of the weft. So again, blanket stitches all the way around. And then you can see I'm starting to come towards the end now. So I will do my last blanket stitch in the second to last pocket of hair, which I'm doing right now. This is my last blanket stitch and then I can go into my anchor stitch. So before I do that, my weft is a little bit long. This is a machine weft or a volume weft. So I can just trim that off really nicely and then it makes it super clean. One final thing I do is I just pierce the weft so that my needle and my thread is facing towards me. And then I drop my needle down through the pocket of hair, pierce the back of the weft, pull it through. That creates that stitch that sits on top. And then again, the exact opposite, up through that pocket, that last pocket, piercing the back of the weft, pulling that through. And then remember, we started with our whip stitches. So that's exactly how we finish. Super easy. So now I'm going to do two whip stitches, one whip stitch through the spine of the weft. At this point, again, we're not going through any pockets of hair. We're just going through the spine of the weft. So I'm going one, two, and then on that final whip stitch, I just bring my needle halfway through and then I wrap the thread around it three times. This is going to be your slip knot I then pull the needle through that creates your triple knot which sits on top of the weft cut the thread and then tie it three times to make it really secure and then what I like to do is I just kind of push that little knot behind the weft so it's kind of out of the way and it doesn't look ugly and your client's not going to catch it so there you have it that is your row from start to finish I didn't cut anything out this is it and that's how it's going to look